That is going to be bugging the shit out of me. You see how... You see that? It's not going to stay straight. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to the channel. So, I decided to hop on today and do a quick reading for Michael Joseph Vaughn. I have been covering this case since the very beginning and doing readings on it. I haven't said much pertaining to my readings because not anything has came out as far as any updates major updates I have gave my commentary on Michael's parents Brandy and Tyler but besides that I've been keeping a tight lip it's going on 15 months since Michael Joseph Vaughn has disappeared from his Fruitland Idaho fruit his home in Fruitland Idaho on July 27th of 2021 let's see where things are currently I will tell you a couple things what I was seeing prior to actually turning on the camera one of the new things that I was seeing in particular is something about water I hate to be one of these tarot readers that's like oh they're near water because 70% of the earth <laughs> is full of water you have to be more pacific where Fruitland Idaho is it's near Oregon right it's not too far from the border going into Oregon I was seeing a bridge something about a bridge a bridge if he is dead if he is deceased his body could be near a bridge in particular a bridge that has a river running underneath it um, another thing I was seeing was something about a couple days before Michael went missing there was disputes over real estate the grandpa's property the grandpa's house um, and also Brandy in particular keep in mind guys all of this is alleged we are talking about tarot cards we're not speaking facts here okay so don't go off and tell le a bunch of bullshit because they have to sort through all of it regardless of how bogus it may be i was seeing that there was disputes over real estate over that house and brandy knows about this but she hasn't said anything um again all alleged this has not been proven they have been cleared by le by fruitland police department they've publicly came out and announced that they do not consider the parents to be suspects or persons of interest that's not what i personally think i think that tyler knows the most but Hey, that's just my opinion. Let's ask the cards a couple questions to see where things are currently. Keep in mind, again, I sound like a broken record, but we are talking about tarot cards. This is not proven as facts. Take this with a grain of salt. But if you have any useful information on the disappearance of Michael Joseph Vaughn, please contact FBI and Fruitland Police Department with credible tips only. So let's just do a wild card. Let's see what pops out, people. Let's just see what pops out. Calling on Michael, Monkey Vaughn, and anybody that wants to speak on his behalf in this reading. Let's see what we can find out here okay the family is working a lot they're doing a lot behind the scenes uh, they made a major decision I know there was talks about them moving to Tennessee how ironic they are moving to Tennessee not saying that they are, but if they do end up moving to Tennessee after their son went missing, 
And I believe that um, did they it, did Brandy and Tyler ever end up getting engaged? Did they ever end up getting engaged? Because I'm seeing that they've been working a lot behind the scenes. Now this could be talking about them working towards finding their their son. But it's more than that. It's more like they're planning a move or they're planning something. They're planning to do something. I don't know what it is. But they're planning to do something. A lot of a lot of their money is popping up here in the cards. Now this card, the two of pentacles popped out in reverse position, so whenever this card flips out like this, this is this is talking about someone making a major financial move. This could be talking about assets again. Um before I got on camera, there was something popping up about that house, grandpa's house, real estate, disputes over the ownership of that house, the deed to that house. I guess that's what you would say. And the Ace of Swords, I'm also seeing communication has came into the family, some type of communication that has gave them the, the green light, you know, the green light to just go. Okay. Let's continue. Let's continue. I want to ask specific questions. Um, does Tyler know anything about his son's disappearance? Did Tyler, on the evening of July 27th, 2021, when his son went missing, allegedly, did he have anything to do with it? Can you give me a major for yes and a minor for no? Okay. Major for yes, minor for no. That is a yes. And how ironic too, because we were talking about them getting married. So this card talks about marriage, higher up commitments, you know. That's a yes. Okay, uh, can you emphasize on this? What could Tyler have done? Again, we're talking all alleged. Nothing is proven as facts, yet the parents have been cleared as suspects and persons of interest in law enforcement's eyes, not the public eye. There's a lot of people out there that still believe they know more than what they're telling. How was Tyler involved? How was Tyler involved in his son's disappearance? Can you emphasize on this? How was Tyler involved? You know, the motivation behind why he could have done something to Michael leads back to him being kicked out of that house. Him or Brandy being evicted from the property something like they were I don't know I don't know what's going on here but I'm seeing two people being kicked out of the residence it's coming back to this house it sounds so silly it sounds very silly but keep in mind we just had not trying to cross cases but we just had now a deceased 20 year old 20 month old yes i'm not gonna touch on that i'm talking about quentin simon and how his mother was about to be evicted from her place and then now quentin is no longer alive is it a coincidence is it connected i don't know does it give people a motive to get rid of their kids? Perhaps, yes. Why would Tyler want to get rid of Michael? Why would Tyler want to get rid of Little Monkey? Why would he want to get rid of Little Monkey?
something here is popping up about court money that he owed money that he still owes or money that he owed at the time I don't know you tell me what you think we have the six of Pinnacles he could be he could have been giving out a lot of funds towards Michael draining his pocket I don't know He had a financial motive, I'll say that. His motive was either to cut um, a deficit, and I hate to even talk like this because we're talking about a missing little boy, but to get rid of a deficit, cut his losses to make it easier on him and Brandy. Um, and something about them moving too, Brandy's popping up here too. Again, all alleged. And speaking of Brandy, let's let's see what the cards are saying about Brandy Neal. Does Brandy Neal know anything about her son's disappearance that she is not telling? Does she know anything about her son's disappearance? Mm -hmm. Can you provide a major for yes and a minor for no? Does she know anything about her son's disappearance? So I would normally say no because we have the nine of cups. But technically this card means yes, upright. And on top of that, Hold on, I know what you're thinking. Hold on, give it a minute. We have the Sun card, which is a major. And if you look closely, you would see the little baby on the horse. I've always said that I don't think Brandy was directly involved, but more like she's covering. You know what I mean? She's covering for Tyler. Of course, in my opinion, she doesn't want to see him get in trouble. Is Brandy Neal covering for Tyler? Is Brandy Neal covering for Tyler? Can you provide a major for yes and a minor for no? Is Brandy Neal covering for Tyler? The cards are saying no, she's not. But what does she know though? What could she know when it pertains to Little Monkey? She loves Michael. That's an intuitive message that I'm that's coming through. She loves Michael. Very protective. She's willing to go to bat for him. You know, she she's coming through like this knight of swords. You see the, the you see the sword in his hand. That's Brandy Neal on this horse about to decapitate somebody or the persons that took her son. Okay, so now since sh if she's not covering, does she honestly not know anything about what happened to Michael? Does she not know anything and she's just in denial? Because that's the only option left. I'm, 
something here is telling me that Brandy has depended, like, he, she depends. I know they both work. They both have jobs. She works at Albertsons, if I'm pronouncing the grocery store's name right. They both have jobs, but she depends a lot on Tyler. She depends a lot on Tyler. And something in the back of her mind says that if for some reason she has to leave her father's house, he is the only person that she is able to fall back on. That could be the reason why she's so loyal. But um, I'm going to ask now, how is Brandy Neal feeling towards Tyler Vaughn? Does she have doubts that he could be involved in Michael's disappearance? Does she have doubts? I'm not going to ask for majors or minors. I'm just going to see what pops out here. Five of Cups. Does she believe Tyler's story? Does she genuinely believe that he didn't have anything to do with this and this was just a stranger abduction? Okay, guys. She's on the fence. She's on the fence. Now, what do you mean by that? You could be watching this and you would like, you can never answer the question directly. You have to say, with an exception, you have to say, however, you can never answer anything directly. Now, can you band it? There are two sides to every story and the truth. What I'm seeing in Brandy's cards, she's not fully confident that Tyler is innocent is completely innocent she is in denial that's what I'm seeing in the cards otherwise this two of swords would not be popping up here because this is her and it even it even kind of looks like her if you look closely also okay there's another perpetrator I'm seeing in this card there's a person I don't know who this is and if anybody knows Feel free to sound it off in the comments below, but someone that was envious of Brandy and Tyler being together, someone has been someone's ex, Brandy's ex, Tyler's ex, someone that either one of them was previously involved with, that could be the other suspect here I am seeing. Granted, this, it's this person, if it's not Brandy or Tyler, if it's honestly, if they honestly did not have anything to do with this, I'm seeing that whoever kidnapped Monkey or abducted him was somebody that Brandy and Tyler knows, okay? This person knew of Michael, they knew of him. They also were very envious about Brandy and Tyler being together. They don't want them to get married. This person does not want Brandy and Tyler to be together. That's who I'm seeing in the cards. And they could be a male. They could also be a female. But the energy that they are carrying is very masculine. If you are looking for signs, just throwing them out there. Although it doesn't matter, but if you want to get a good idea, I'm sure that Brandy will be watching this. So I'm seeing Aries. I'm also seeing Taurus, Virgo, and Cap. Oh, wow. I did not expect to see that, guys. I want you to take a look at this card. Take a close look at this card. You see how these two people, right here, you see the two people. They have the house. They have all the money. They have the plants, the dogs, the kids. And they're just minding their own business. And then you have this old, you know, this old uh, mofo right here, if the camera will focus, that's looking at these two people like 
I just wish they would not be together. This person I'm seeing is the suspect. This is the person that could have took Michael Vaughn, someone that was envious of Brandy and Tyler being together. They did not want them to be together. And like I said before, I don't know if they got engaged. There were talks of them getting engaged. If they did, best believe that this person is not happy. And Brandy, if you're watching this girl, okay, I'm not saying that you did anything. I'm not saying that Tyler did anything. I don't know. I wasn't there that day. All I'm saying is that it doesn't look good with y'all coming out to the public and you just can't keep your story straight. It doesn't look good. All parties are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. That being said, I'm allowed to have my opinions and until they are proven to be wrong, I'm going to stick, stick with them. Mosquitoes are getting to me. But now I'm seeing, this is something I've never picked up on while connecting to Michael's energy. I'm seeing, for the people that have still stuck around in this reading, someone, it's basically an enemy of Tyler and Brandy, someone that they know of. They could know exactly who this is. I don't know how long is this video so I think I'm going to turn it off because it is 21 minutes but guys sound off your thoughts and opinions below again again keep it respectful don't say anything out of line to the family and thank you for watching be sure to give the video a thumbs up on your way out make sure your notifications are turned on so you can receive the latest updates and I will catch you here in my next podcast